Hello everyone and welcome back to AMOS, our course on Agile Methods and Open Source. In this short presentation, I will walk you, the student team, through the preparation for the demo day. The demo day is the final closing day of the AMOS project where student teams present their work uh, to the interested public, most notably the industry partners, but also anyone else who is interested to come and take a look. Work is open source, work is open, there will be videos, there will be fun. So we generally have more than just the core participants of the project participating in the demo day. We organize it, uh, given enough projects, we organize it as a fair where there are multiple booths run in parallel, whether that's online or in person, doesn't matter. Um, and participants, visitors to the fair can go from booth to booth to get an impression of the respective project. As a consequence, each team or each project needs to uh, have people at their, at their booth uh, who are there online or in person to demo and to explain to visitors what it is that they have done. You really need to imagine this like a fair where people walk up to you and ask, oh, this looks interesting. What is it about? So the demo day starts with an opening and then we have that uh, fair of things going on in parallel. So here's how it looks like. We usually start at 10.15 in the morning and uh, you should show up at least half an hour early to set up uh, your online or your in-person uh, booth. Uh, I, open the, uh, I open the event at 10.15, uh, shortly go over the projects, but then um, we will have demo sessions in parallel um, by the student teams. It, the number depends on the actual students, the teams uh, that we had in a given semester. And usually after 90 minutes, sometimes after two hours, again, it also depends on how much uh, projects there were, uh, we will close the session. To prepare for this, um, you need to uh, do a couple of things. So uh, for physical in-person demoing, uh, you should have submitted posters that we printed that you will put up to pin boards. You should have your laptop there to be able to demo the software and so forth. Online, you usually get your breakout room, your virtual demo room where people can join you. And um, you should have a backup video to play uh, in place. And otherwise, you'll be demoing the software. You'll be running short presentations using the posters, but online, not printed, and so forth. So these uh, supplementary materials uh, for in-person are uh, fairs are two posters, one on product management and one on software development. So they're focused on the two types of main roles, so product owner and software developer, obviously in Amos itself, but also typically among the participants who have a professional background and might be more project or product managers or software developers and architects. Online, do the same, but have a slide deck for that rather than a printed poster so that uh, you can show that to whoever comes into your room. Here is how, um, how uh, it looked like. These are old examples uh, on the left, the um, uh, rather high level information about the project for product owners what is this about what did we do and on the right a rather a bit too abstract a bit too generic uh, software development um, uh, poster you can use the university lo logo actually you should uh, you should use your team logo and if your partner industry partner allows you to do so you can use their logo, but you should ask them first. Sometimes they are very picky and you can't just use their, their logo um, if you don't have that permission. 
as usually with the use of logos there's not only a trademark issue involved but also uh, the implicit endorsement of the results and uh, the industry partner may or may not endorse the actual results. So here's an, uh, here's an excellent uh, um, two poster setup for the product manager on the left. What was this particular project called uh, CrowdTrip uh, about? And uh, so it's really the product management perspective. And then um, on the right, it talks about the, uh, the architecture, the technology. Actually, it's still not that technical, but it's just nicely done to create some insights and get people asking questions so that you can explain the software architecture or the technology to technical people asking about it. If there's a presentation table in person, bring your own laptop. We can't provide you with one. Um, in general, be creative. Yeah? So think about what people might ask, how you may, might show or explain it to them. If you got some hardware from your industry partner, obviously bring it so you can demo properly. In general, you need to be prepared to demo well what you're doing. Uh, same thing if, uh, if online. You just now need to prepare for the online presentation. It might mean setting up a camera to show, for example, to interested parties that you have that particular piece of hardware. And even if it's just a Raspberry Pi there, uh, that you have that. So think about what makes your presentation interesting, gets people to ask questions rather than just be mum and silent because they can't really quite figure out what you're about. As you run up uh, to the demo, uh, you're doing your release, your final product release. Uh, so meaning you're doing cleanup usually. Even the best teams don't necessarily have that perfectly consistent development speed and always consistent code quality. You may have to do some cleanup, in particular in the user interface. You may have to think about your domain terminology, use the proper names and terms from the domain don't just talk about things or users in general be specific who they are what the domain names are and think about a story illustrating use cases the most common use cases of using your software uh, and walk demo your software not from a function perspective but from a walkthrough or from a workflow perspective so this way you can illustrate a whole use case and that should make sense to any participants who come asking because, well, they see the purpose or the value of it through the use case. As you have these demos, make sure that you can restart them at any point in time. Uh, you don't want to be thrown uh, to a lengthy lengthy um, reinitialization if you finished one and be dead in the water for the next, next half hour. So make, it sh make sure that your demo is re-entrant. Complementary to what I just said, the don'ts are exactly not to do the do's. So avoid using test data called test. Use something from the domain. Um, make it interesting, have a story to tell and don't make things uh, generic. Uh, make them specific and interesting. In your, at your booth or in your virtual room online, there should at least be two people who can help each other. And um, usually it's like in pair programming, one is actively focused on driving the demo and the other explains and gives onlookers the strategic perspective of what's happening it is possible good demo people can do at the same time both uh, navigate steer use the computer and explain what they're doing but you're still more effective if you're two people where one is taking steps is clicking is entering data while the other explains what they are doing it's really hard to do both successfully 
in par successfully in parallel as one person even if you're really good at it two people will still be better so make sure you have two people in the booth and that's that um, i hope this will help you students prepare a great amos demo day and i look forward to seeing the results of your work